Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play. Um, I will not lie, I thought that that would take a lot longer than it actually did. But it seems like I stumbled upon a, you know, reasonably efficient method of killing Lautrec and his goons. In only two more tries after the first, uh, bout of failures that I uh, gave up on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it it's, it uh, didn't take nearly as long as I uh, had thought. I kind of regret not uh, doing a live commentary of it, but I really did think I was going to end up with a lot of uh, montage footage that I was going to have to string together until I finally got the uh, winning combination. But uh, no, I've defeated Lautrec, I've taken his Firekeeper Soul which I can use to revive the Filing Shrine Bond Keeper when we get back. And, uh, we've got a ton of humanity from uh, doing that too, since he dropped five humanity all at once, along with his uh, special ring. I will show you the ring uh, soon enough. But uh, for the moment, let's uh, consume three of these humanities. Uh, kindle this bonfire up to its uh, maximum potential. Because with that, we shall have maximum uh, estus for this bonfire. Which is all we really wanted. Well, I am online, I am in human form, so may get visitors, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, better go through and repair all those uh, little things. I think much else to be done except maybe level up one more time. I think flat vitality might be the uh, way to go for the moment. Everything else is okay the way it is. No, apart from the Ring of Fog, I don't think we need it anymore. This is a very good ring, the Ring of Favor and Protection. But, once you put it on, you can't take it off. It will break. It uh, boosts your HP and stamina by about 25%, I think. And I think it's the same with the uh, your equipment load, but I'd have to look that one up to be entirely certain. It gives you a good uh, boost for all three of those things. But the boost is actually at its most potent once you max out your uh, endurance and vitality, so... For the moment, we might just want to go with some other things. Until uh, we can use the Ring of uh, Favor and Protection to its maximum ability, perhaps later. It's probably one of the more overpowered items in the game, to be fair. So there's no uh, great hurry to use it. For now, the flexibility of the other rings might be a, a good thing for me to worry about. And there are going to be other uh, little problems to deal with here. Because uh, we've uh, pretty much done everything we can in the castle itself. So that means the only thing left to do is uh, face off against uh, Snorlax and Pikachu himself. Themselves. Oop, oh, I've died. And yet I'm not that upset. I. Largely that was just me being distracted by thinking about what was going to happen next. But I'm okay with it because. Uh, I don't really like hanging around in Analondo in human form if I can't, if I don't have to. Because it's just one of those places uh, that uh, trollish people like to hang out. And I really have no interest in them. Not for this playthrough and not for any playthrough I go through. The, the, the skills required to PvE and PvP in this game are pretty much totally different. They have almost no overlap. So I, d I don't uh, begrudge anyone who likes the PvP. It's a fine thing to do as far as I'm concerned. But uh, 
I don't have the skill for it, and if I wanted to gain the skill for it, it's got nothing to do with uh, me being out PvE. Which uh, is what I like about these games, to be honest. I, I don't uh, get them for the PvP. The PvP is usually broken in one way or another. You have to uh, adopt rather specific strategies if you want to win, and that's all that you can use. There is a Titanite Demon in here. Yeah, he's 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 very much the last thing in the castle, apart from the boss, so maybe we'll give him a go, huh? Oop. I wonder how uh Fighting him per se, but no. Oh. He's got a lot of health there. Fighting him in this tiny room is just plain unpleasant. Just going to keep repeating this one or two moves, then I'm not going to have uh, much trouble with him. Gotta watch those jumps though. Don't take too many of them to uh, mess me up in a big way. Oops. For a second. Thankfully, I've got uh, plenty of Estus. So the trick will just be surviving all these moves. Yeah, that would be very nasty if it hit. Retreat. Hopefully I'll eventually get used to this enough that I won't have to uh, keep retreating like that. Yes, do that move. I can deal with that move. Oh, <laughs> the minute I say it, of course. I will stop being able to deal with it. Man, I really wish I could do more damage in fewer hits. I don't know if the lightning weapon itself is the problem here, but whatever it is. I suppose the fact that there's a door right here is at least one good thing. Gives me a safe place to run if I feel I'm in trouble. Nope. Rolling in that is just not enough, it seems. This one also doesn't seem to like shooting lightning at any point. Purely a brawler, this one. Doesn't make sense considering where he is.
shooting lightning in such a small spot would be a waste of his time. Oop. Ooh. I screwed up right near the end. Damn it. I think we're gonna have to make a, uh... We, we can't leave it like that. That Titanite Demon has to go down. I'm not certain there's very much I can do except, uh... Just be better at what I'm doing than what thought I just did. <laughs> I realize that doesn't make much sense, but, uh... Basically, just uh, do what I was doing, except uh, don't screw it up. See? You do things perfectly in this game. You don't have to be strong, you just have to be, uh, you just have to have finesse. Although, it really bugs me when they hit me after I repost them anyway. I feel like I've been uh, thwarted. When I really shouldn't have. Don't think power within would be a decent idea here. I don't know whether my flame says this would help with this. I'm gonna say it probably won't, but it shouldn't hurt that much either. Seems like their ability to throw lightning doesn't actually mean they have an affinity for it. Let's just leave the room for a second. Switch these back. Stay around his broken leg, that's usually the safest place to be. The reason I stopped doing it last time though is because he got too close to the wall and I couldn't circle in the right direction. Oop, and that was my own fault. I missed the timing too badly. Yeah, if you stay around his leg here, when he does a sweep, it usually doesn't connect. Close to the wall, it becomes harder and harder to stay in the right spot. Oh, that was a good move on his part. I feel like he's learning. Jump is both a threat and an opportunity. If I avoid it, I can get a hit in. But if I don't, it'll hurt. If I stand here, though, the sweep is at least no issue. You can only hit me with a jump. I can serve my stamina, though. Using too much of it with these strong attacks. don't feel any uh, more efficient, so... <laughs> little jabs. It's actually pretty funny. Yeah, they throw my timing out. May as well stick with one strong attack. Each opportunity I get.
Oh, I rolled into him. That's a very, very bad thing to have happen. Drink up. just for something to do now. Oh, no, totally wrong. Very lucky he didn't decide to follow up on that. He totally could and I totally have been screwed. Now. It's probably somewhat likely. Oh, there we go. Woo! It's done. I have a knack for getting things done on the second try, don't I? I dare say this next boss, though, is going to take uh, a session or two. There's no way I can get this done in one. Even if I was playing, like, normally, with full weapons and such, I would still be like, maybe take me a few tries. You know? You can't expect to do everything perfectly. I have fought uh, these guys a couple of times before, but like, success. I I fought them like fairly successfully a couple of times before. Done a few playthroughs of this game, but at the same time, they're kind of hard. And they always will be hard because they're just that sort of boss. in glory here, am I? No. We may need to change our equipment at some point, but I'll stick with what I got for the moment. Now, my vague plan that I have in my head at the moment is that we should probably try and beat Smog first, and then just deal with Ornstein when he's in super form. Provided, of course, I could survive any length of time when they're both coming after me. And the reason for that is because I won't have the ability to block, and uh, I dare say that uh, the super uh, smog uh, butt slam lightning all over the world is going to be a bit troublesome. So I better get away from this fog door as quickly as possible. If the uh, giant that was following me probably can hit me through it. Ooh, that's harsh. Now, how should I go about hitting either of them? something about the one steam first after all because it looks like I have some chance of shaking smog but I have almost no chance of getting away from Ornstein for any amount of time he's too fast it would be nice damn I really used to throwing fireballs in this fight hey tracking lightning is not funny you're a bastard 
Get over yourself. gets in range. Spear to the gonads. Oh, I didn't realize that was a jump forward, I thought it was a jump backward. <laughs> Gotta keep using these pillars. At least uh, he's much less likely to do a fast dodge dash uh, when I'm a bit closer to him. Still need to get him there. Decent range, so this is going to be. Oh, oh, I forgot. That's the other thing, I haven't fought these guys in a long while. Their attack patterns are uh, not uh, ingrained in my head anymore. Not in any way, shape, or. Oh, thought I had him there. My range is so short, though. Cutting through snow pretty well, though. No, I think the uh, next video is going to be just about them. I'll put a little break here. 
So we'll come right back after these messages, as it were. <laughs> 